Yes, so here at the University of Gothenburg, we have during uh, uh, 2017 been working with uh, a library of different silica particles and exposing uh, bacteria, algae and fish cell lines to these uh, particles that uh, are in different size and have different surf surface chemistry to see if, uh, if they are, are they toxic and are there certain properties that are driving the toxicity, for example, um, such as size or specific uh, surface modification on these particles. And uh, I have some examples of uh, the particles here. So this is how they look when they arrive from, uh, from Axel Nobel, the pr producer. So in here we have um, three different particles. Uh, all of them are seven nanometer in uh, primary size, but two of them has uh, been has a different surface chemistry. So one of them is coated with uh, etoxicillon, and uh, this one is coated with aluminium. Um, so and this gives them slightly different surface chemistry, and also, for example. A uh, slightly different charge. Um, so that's how they look when they, they arrive and then we we mix the particles with the medium where we keep our bacteria and algae and then we can study the if there is any effects. And so what we do is that we expose them and then we wait for 72 hours and then we can see how much they have been growing. So after 72 hours, we, we measure um, the number of algae. So then we can compare to the um, uh, non-exposed algae to the exposed algae. The results from our group, we can see that um, the fish cell lines were the most sensitive to the silica particles. But uh, the effects that we see are at concentrations that are um, much higher than the concentration that is out in the environment. So we can see that the particles have an effect, but uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, uh, an environmental risk. What we can see is that the toxicity differs between the particles. So the smaller the particle is, the more toxic. And also uh, the surface modification also um, have an e effect there. So uh, for example one of the smallest particles that we tested that has modified surface chemistry was not toxic at all although it was uh, also the smallest particle. So, uh, uh, so we can clearly see that uh, the effect de de depends not only on size but also on surface uh, chemistry. How are your results connected to the rest of the research program? They are connected in, in, the, in the way that, for example, with the, the Karolinska Institute, they are testing the same uh, library of silicon nanoparticles, but uh, on uh, human uh, cell lines. And uh, uh, the group at Lund University are testing also the same particles, but uh, on uh, Daphnids uh, that are um, representing the, um, one of the trophic levels in the, in the ecosystem.